Uh oh. Big Joe! Cheap travels. Travel on a budget. So we are near Celia, that's Steyrsk region, and we will see today Schmartinsko Jezero. Uh, we are here in the parking lot, and there is a circular path that runs around the lake. So let's go and see how that looks like. So from the parking lot, we'll cross the main road. Try not to get hit by car again. <laughs> and first, there was a little climb to come to up to the lake. It's here. They're like steps, concrete steps. And here, you'll see the man. Martinsko Jezero. About maybe two, three kilometers from Celia's town. So you cannot bike, you cannot motorbike, you can have a dog, you cannot campfire, you cannot swim, but people are swimming here in summer, and you cannot pick the flowers. Okay. <laughs> Nobody's enforcing these rules, so <laughs> you can come here to swim in the summer. Now, a big climb up this mini mountain. See you at the top, guys. So, the last few meters, and we're up this mountain. So, we came from down there. Here's some more. Natural path, or we go all the way up to the road. And after that, we will see the lake. So, there's the lake. Just to go here. Oh no, we want to go down the stairs again, but just to show the lake. I cannot go here, so I get up the stairs to the main road. So this was the only climb you have to do, and it goes just straight. 
Oh man, there's view. Out of the lake. And there. You can use swings there for free. <laughs> if you like. Those kind of things. Oh, there's the swing. There's the lake. And we even have three toilets here. Open from 7.30 till 7.30 p.m. And yeah, we continue down this road and then uh, we'll get to the path and we can go around the lake. So, just after the swings and this climbing thing for those who are thirsty there's also a bar here on beach front so you can have something to drink so this bar is open from 10 in the morning until 8 in the evening and this is where the world ends and our walking path begins so there's like a path with the signs around explaining you the flora and fauna As I said, it's not very difficult to walk around. The only part that was hard was that first part with the steep steps. But then it just goes like this. No big climbs or drops in altitude. There we have our first, first beach. Let's see how that looks like. beach you can go on this path around and there are also stairs here see there we go Very nice view and there's also the path you can take down close to the lake but we came from there so a little bit dirty water I uh, wouldn't swim here <laughs> View nature. People also fish in this lake. And as I said in the summer, usually children they swim here, teenagers. But they swim from the bridge in the in between. We will see that later.
I found my first resting point, the bench. And here we are at the second beach. And I just go. Well, here the sign actually says that fishing is forbidden. But I've seen people fish stick here, so <laughs> if you do it, just be careful. And here we will walk on the lake. <laughs> There's like this wooden bridge. See? And then there's a the big bridge that goes across. <coughs> and on the other side there's another bar. Uh, here I don't know if you can see the fishes. It says about the plankton and the, and the, you see the fishes and the plants. So, the path we will do to there, we will go around there, 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 all the way there, there, then we'll claw across this bridge and go back down. Because if you go all the way around there, 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 uh, you have to cross villages, houses, roads. So this is a more friendly path, let's say, which we will take. Because there are no cars, bicycles, stuff like that. I'm just afraid that some of this wood <laughs> will break under my weight. <laughs> so this is the bridge where in the summer teenagers swim. They even jump there, I think. <laughs> and yeah. Nice nature here. Fresh air. It's not difficult to walk because it's mainly straight. <laughs> One wooden floor almost broke. <laughs> Of small fishes here in the lake, not really eatable. Uh, here at this bridge, we will go left and then walk around and come back here, and then we go back. So it takes about whew, one hour. I would say for me one hour, if you're a fast walker, maybe half an hour to do this circle. But, oh, maybe about three kilometers, I would say, the whole circular path is. Yeah. So, at this bridge, 
we take a turn left and go on the regular path around the lake. Look. Cherry trees, I think, or apples. Right. I'm not a tree expert. I think it's <laughs> cherries. I've got so many flowers. Actually, from the tree, I would say it's apples. It's apples, definitely. <laughs> I found a bench, so five minute resting point. Watch out. So, I had a nice rest with the bees buzzing around my head because behind me. This is the meadow and they like to go from one flower to another, you know, collecting the flower dust to make honey. And yeah, let's go on. You know what I will ask you? Please like the video, comment and subscribe if you haven't done so before. It will really mean a lot to me. So after we passed this meadow section, the path takes us inside the forest. And there are many benches around also, so you can have a rest in the shade and the lake is just there so you understand if you come in the summer you can have some shade and cooler air let's say guys you know me I like to take like little breaks on the bench just here <laughs> uh, and just enjoy the nature you know it's green it's quiet and you have a nice view of the lake and it's time to go on Let's see what's behind that corner. <laughs> Another informational, educational bulletin of this bird. Picus viridis in Latin. It's the one that does tick, 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 tick on the foot and searches for uh, worms in the tree, I don't know what he searches for, his food, I guess. So another bench, we'll skip this one, because it's mostly on the sun. And a nice fishing spot. Right, so this little forest ended here and then another meadow started there's some farmhouse up there some farm smell also in the air <laughs> Let 
So, to teach you some Slovenian, you say, Dobar dan. It means good today on a bench and maybe fishing spot there. You see, there's a fisherman. I wasn't making it up. Although it says there this fishing is forbidden. Well, I guess not for everyone. Full gear with a tent and everything with a chair. <laughs> Professional fisherman. <clears throat> there we go. The meadow with all the different flowers. And out there, the farms where the bad smell is coming from. <laughs> so, I try to get away from this part. Like, As we just passed a sign where it says <laughs> that fishing is forbidden <laughs> and the two fishers and they just fish next to that sign. Kind of funny. And over there we have like a picnic place with a chimney where you can grill meat. Here. And here's two benches and a table. Up there some info, posters, I don't know what the fuck. But, yeah, we continue down the path. And we came to this bridge. And we go into the forest again. Another informational poster. And we are in the forest again. Where I hope to find a bench in the shade. If you're brave enough, you can even go further in the forest. It says forest learning path, so you can learn about the trees and stuff. So, this map shows you the map of Slovenia and the green color is where the forests are. So, as you can see, 60% of Slovenia is covered by forests. And it says, if the man wouldn't uh, exploit the forest, the area would be 93% forest here. <laughs> but it's nice. You can listen to the birds chirping <laughs> and the sound of my <laughs> of my sneakers. <laughs> uh, there. I found a bench in the shade. So you guessed it right. Five minutes break, then we continue. And uh, here we go. We even have a camouflaged uh, trash can. <laughs> See you in a bit, guys.
Time to continue. A few more, huh? Fisherman? No. <laughs> but it is a fishing spot there. Another bench. A few more meters and the forest will end. And then uh, all the way until the bridge, I think. We'll walk on the sun. I forgot my cap. <laughs> Some extra sweating for me. more farmhouse good here it doesn't smell bad and some lake vegetation let's call it this lake vegetation forest and uh, up down there all the way back will be exposed to direct sun so bring your cap with you so another informational poster of the swamp life like some frog green frog lives here and this lizard, La Certa Bilineata, in Latin. Now you know, now you know. And because this is a swamp region here, it wouldn't actually be possible to walk there. So they built like this wooden stairs again and wooden bridge, let's say. So we'll go to see. If, if it can hold my weight, you know. I think it can. It's pretty sturdy. It's a bit going left and right, you see. <laughs> so, not so sturdy. But, yeah. I think it will manage. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's bending. <laughs> so. If you have it, you have to walk in the middle because that's where the support the support trees, you know. And here you can go frog hunting. Don't worry, no crocodiles live here. <laughs> it's too cold for them to survive here the winter, you know. So only frogs, lizards, maybe some leeches. Not really nice animals <laughs> to see. <laughs> but you know, maybe if you kiss a frog, it turns into a beautiful princess or prince. So, would you do it? <laughs> Write in the comments. So, this informational poster says this is wet meadow. And you have these two special plants that grow here Oh, 
and that's the end of this wooden bridge and then we'll see how I handle <laughs> the sun see shining bright as ever you guessed it right I found another bench before the sun burns my half bald head <laughs> There's the path and the village. So you can enjoy the radio nature, the birds singing. Uh, it's time to get the move on. So yeah, all these white flowers, I think it's apples. I think it's apples, not cherries. And this is like Slovenian bamboo. <laughs> but it's not as, as thick and sturdy as the bamboo is. Yeah. Actually, it's not so bad. I mean, the sun wise, there is some shade. And here, there's another bench in the shade. So it's not that bad. There. German Shepherd dog coming toward me. is coming here you see something big that's me <laughs> I hope he doesn't think I'm food <laughs> yeah he's observing me when I stop and look at him he just he stops as well Kujo. So our next, bu next bus stop is here <laughs> for a few minutes. Let's see what the dog will do. <laughs> it must be from uh, one of those farms up there, from one of those houses there. Let's hope he's not guarding them all the way down here. But I think he's just interested in other dogs walking by, pissing on the grass. <laughs> you know, that's like newspaper to the dogs. Really, I read about it. And we are back to the lake view. That's from this side. Yeah. 
the best views of the lake are from the start and then from the bridge there. Fishing spot. Lots of flies also because it's swamp here. Another thing about the flowers here. And I'll make it to my next stop there. <laughs> Another bench. <laughs> I could do a YouTube video on testing the benches <laughs> around the lake. Look how stork. Can you see it? The stork looking for green frogs. They like to eat frogs and mice and stuff like that, you know. It's also tradition that they bring babies, so <laughs> After they eat a mice or a frog, they make a baby <laughs> and they then deliver it to humans. So humans come from from <laughs> digested frogs and mice on the field, you know. <laughs> Some big bee. My God. <laughs> Five minutes break. Well guys, I discovered a nice fishing spot with the bench. <laughs> no, we'll not sit here, but just to show you. We can also make a picnic here. <laughs> Some grill maybe, although it's forbidden. But I think nobody will see you. And if you are the swimming kind in the lake, <laughs> I don't know, for me this is like dirty water, so I wouldn't swim here, but some people do. You can see the bridge that will cross and to get back on the other side, because just after this small here hill, there is a parking lot. Yeah, this is Shmarieshko, Shmarieta Lake, Shmarieshko Yezero, yeah, <laughs> it's even difficult for me to pronounce it. <laughs> uh, any frogs here? No, I don't see them. So yeah, nice bench, picnic place. Do your own food, some hamburger meat, some beers, and enjoy the nature. Let us go now to the bridge, and I'll show you the bridge. And here we are approaching the floating bridge. Fisherman. And a bench. And we are approaching the bar that I showed you before, that was on the other side. So it's here. But as I said, if you want to save a few euros, you can buy some beers in the shop and 
there are many benches around the lake, you know. So it says boathouse. And there's like a football field here. Yeah. Basketball. Yeah. Basketball on demand. <laughs> and there's the the bar. But let's go. Through the bridge. I think you can even rent boats here. So, maximum so 200 people, 250 people on the bridge at one time. <laughs> Otherwise, it may sink. It's going up and down. Don't jump on this bridge. <laughs> Nice views. And yeah, wait. Whoa. It's moving like now, like walking on a moving ship. So there's the bar, and behind are the boats that you can rent and then enjoy the lake from the middle of the lake. Yeah. Whoa, this is really going left and right. that bridge, mini bridge in the middle, that will be tricky, so in the summer you can swim, you can go now into the water, there are steps here, you see, even though it says that bathing is forbidden, but they do this for people to swim, so you understand if you can, <laughs> the same as with fishing, it says it's forbidden, but as you see, I saw at least three fishermen, <laughs> With their full battle equipment, you know, tents, two, three rods. <laughs> yeah, we are a lawless country. <laughs> oh, going left and right, and the wind is blowing. <laughs> That's why I'm walking in the middle. <laughs> yeah, another. You can swim on another side. And there in the distance, the people are having a picnic. Like I suggested. <laughs> so, smart people. Okay, this will be tricky. This will be tricky. Everything is moving left and right. I got okay, 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 okay. I made it. Yeah. Oh, now I can take a swim in the lake. <laughs> little bridge doop, doop, doop. and we are on shore well if you can call this wood shore and walking on this bridge was like being drunk you know <laughs> the same thing so now back to the car and this was Schmartinsko Lake what's the a stone or a crocodile <laughs> or a dead fish I would say dead fish yeah <laughs> ugly dead fish I don't know if you can see it this is a big ugly dead fish now you go and swim in this water come on Oh, this was 
Martinsko jezero. See you guys in my next video. Until then, tar tar. <laughs> bye bye. And yeah, guys, you know I like to show you pretty things, <laughs> but I am also realistic, so I will show you also not so pretty things. Another dead fish there. So yeah, <laughs> let's end the, the video with a nice, <laughs> nice view. <laughs>